appreciated. How could you be, how could more appreciation slip in the crack to you right this minute? It can't because you're one right here. You're having to be one because you're on television, right? Right. <clears throat> I'm governing that need. Praised. Praise. Hmm. Oh, that goes along with that same thing of being right or same thing of being beautiful. You know, praise. Oh, you're so smart. You're so um, helpful. You're so kind. You're so, all these things. And when people are saying that, they get their reward already. And if, in fact, they need to say that, that is something that they're fulfilling within themselves. They need no response from you. And the moment that you feel obligated to say something back, you're being manipulated. You see? Okay, if I'm telling you, oh, Brandy, you're so helpful, you're so kind. Okay, well, you're going to want to, first of all, you're going to feel good about that because that's called praise. Hmm, well, she thinks I'm helpful. Well, I got to do something else to keep on, you, you will feel that you got to keep on doing something so I'll think you're helpful. Well, but what's my motives? You see, I want to at some time make sure that you are helpful to me. You see? So you have to always be disinterested in the result. When I always say don't care, that's the only time that you really do care. Because I'm going to be and be full of whatever it is I'm being, you are too. And when you're like that, that's as much as you can be. Okay, next. <clears throat> Bind your tongue from personal response to sweet talk and Woo! or condemnation. I hear you, baby. What a good one did you pull. Bind your tongue to sweet words. <clears throat> Bind your tongue because most of the time when people say, you did a good job, you know, the one thing that you can, people will say, of course, is thank you. That's enough if you want to say that. If you feel obligated to say that's enough or if that's natural, thank you. But yeah, or they'll come back and say, yeah, but I could have done this or I could have done that. Blah, 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 blah. You done destroyed it. Or also that other one it said, or what? what's the next one? Sweet talk or what? Words of condemnation. Condemnation. Okay. If you depend upon me to praise you, or to appreciate you or to recognize you or to make you feel right, well, you're still going to put your feelings on the outside of me when I start condemning you. You're nothing. You haven't ever done anything. You're so lazy. You're stupid. See, you are still leaving your own place, going back to your memories of yesterday and visions of tomorrow because you want me not to think you're stupid or not to think you're um, lazy or not to think, you know, and if you've ever been called those things in the past, you're not hearing just those words. You're hearing every time you've ever been called stupid. See, and it's magnified. And so you say, oh, God, you know, and don't do, it doesn't matter because that person is doing that for some kind of lack in within themselves or they want to have a control. Anybody that's calling you stupid or lazy or any of those things, they have issues with control and they want to control you and use you. They do. And if you, you allow it because you feel special. And we talked about less. Anytime you think, feel special, that's a lie. And you get all in a whole bunch of trouble <clears throat> going down that road. Seek to embrace the day without as much as fe feathers alliteration okay. of it. Okay. Seek to embrace the day. Okay. Right now, I just saw that, Brandy. Seek to uh, embrace the day without a farthings, or birds farthings of it or something, whatever. But do you see how calm? Be calm? Let's be still a minute. Okay. What do you hear? Silence. And what was the name of that picture? Silence. Right. That is what we embrace during the day, honey. Even though we go about, I'm talking to you right now and you're talking to me, but you know when we're talking, the only thing we're doing, we're having an outward dialogue with ourselves. No matter how many people you're talking to. I'm talking to you, and of course there's people listening, but I'm talking to myself out loud. We always are. Go ahead. <clears throat> when you do encounter what seems to be an obstacle or barrier, simply give no resistance. I hear you. Don't resist. Jesus said, resist not the devil and he'll flee from you. Don't resist it. When you come up against something that is just blah, 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 Agree. Agree with your adversary, and he'll depart from you, Jesus also said. But go ahead. Flow without upsetment. 
flow without upsetment. Now, sometimes we're going to get, that's beautiful words, absolutely beautiful, and they're true, you know, because they feel good. you got to check it in yourself. It ain't true with you. It ain't true. But, you know, there's going to be times when you get upset. There's no doubt about it. You know why? Because we enjoy the drama of it. We're addicted. We're human beings, and we are addicted to drama. We love drama, don't we? That's the truth. So sometimes it's ups upsetment, we're going to do it, but then let it go ahead, move on. Don't hold on to it as a memory. Don't do that because it obstructs your day. Let it go, okay? It rained today, tomorrow the sun shines. Keep trucking. Do not worry. I just looked up there at that uh, picture up there. Look at it, Brandy. Yeah. That's pretty sad, ain't it? All them books up there, okay. Do not worry nor grow concerned if something appears to be late or not exactly right. For the Ooh. events transpiring are for reasons beyond your present vision and insight. Good gracious. Now you're talking about something. So don't get upset when something does not occur at the time that you think it should occur. Okay? You cannot be late. You cannot be early. You're on time all the time if you're there. That's what it is. It's what it is. It's what it is. Okay? That's what it is. This is what it is. And you don't know ever, honey, why you're doing what you're doing. You don't ever know. People think they know. They think they know. I don't know how in the world people can think they know so much about everything when we don't know one thing about anything. But yet we act like we do. And we get uh, like this. You know, like some people have that road rage. I don't know what that's all about. But it's okay. It works for them. Let it go. <clears throat> Do not argue or contend thinking you know the correct action to take. This mm. admonition mm -hmm. involves with all judicial and contractual matters as well. Okay. You don't know the outcome. You know, that's talking about going to court even. It's talking about signing contracts even. You never know what you're doing. You never know. You never know. Go through the events and be there. Be there. Show up for your life. That's what this whole hour's about, showing up for your life, not having your heart divided between memories of yesterday and visions of today. Okay, stop that a minute. Let's go on to something else. Don't, don't put it away, though. It's pretty. Okay, what you want to do next? Let's pull one of them cards, tarot cards. You want to? And while you're doing that, I'm going to... Look in. Your sixth sense. Let me see. I was trying to look for a book I haven't used on the show. Have you used this one? Let me see. The Magnificent Mind. I think um, Bridget read some of that the other week, but I don't know. Let's see. However, we answer, it appears that these experiences are most seen in people who have a dedication to their creative task. Liangle writes every day whether she feels like it or not. She likens her craft to prayer. It's not a matter of feeling like it or waiting until I feel inspired, she told a recent interviewer. Both in work and in prayer, inspiration comes during rather than before. You know, I, that's beautiful. That goes on to showing up for your life doing what you want to do, being involved in those creative endeavors, being passionate about what you do. I cannot emphasize that enough, Brandy. Be passionate. You are so young, darling. You are 14 years old, and you are living, living. You are alive every day. I said it earlier, and I'm going to say it again. Don't miss one second of it. Don't push this. Don't try to hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. You be right here. You put your feet, and you just grind down into this life. And, and, and be here. Be full of brandy. Let brandy unfold in every endeavor because that's all you're doing, honey. You're learning brandy. The entire lifetime is learning yourself. That's all. And it's going to be reflected in all your people, all your family, all of your jobs, all of everything you ever have. You're going to see brandy unfold. Brandy is the most important subject there is to study. Paul is the most important part, subject there is to study. There's a difference in that and thinking, you're, there's that finger, I said I won't put it up, huh? Um, than being special. We are all special because we're ordinary. It is extraordinary to be ordinary, but people try to avoid it. All right, Brandy, what you got, baby? Mm. Thank you for choosing that book. That was good. 
Okay, what we got? Hmm, seven of cups. Boy, boy, boy. Let me grab that. It goes right here. Seven of cups. You got some more to read. Let's see what we're going to get out of the seven of cups. Was it the seven or the eight? Seven. Seven. Seven of cups. Seven of cups. This is also a book that I wrote. It's called Secret Tarot Wisdom. Let me see. Seven. All right. There we go. <coughs> Let me get my pen again. So be it that a matter is troubling thee, so be it that a matter perplexes and confuses thee. Troubling matter and perplexing matter. <coughs> Excuse me, please. All right, a troubling and perplexing matter. All right. The key issue here is to establish priorities, maintain that position so that thou must may us continue on the direct path. Okay, so establish priorities. <coughs> Again, excuse me. establish priorities, okay, for the direct path, I hear you. Illusion takes control of the path. existing Missy, situation. I need some water. I'm gonna keep right on coughing until I get some water. <coughs> excuse me, honey. It's in the big bag. It's in the big bag. Well, I don't have a big bag with me. I don't have a little bag, big bag, or middle, middle size bag. All right, go ahead, honey. Illusion takes control of the existing situation, and I'm in this case, the illusion brings with it as many diverse natures. Okay, illusion is ruling, okay? It is not clear as to thy motives regarding the issue at hand, for thou art saying one thing and doing something entirely different. Saying one thing and doing something entirely different. Saying one thing and doing something else. Uh, All right, wait a minute, hold it. Now, if you're saying one thing and you're doing something else, where's our paper? What does that say? Your heart is divided between the <coughs> memories of yesterday and visions come on, of tomorrow. That's all right. Come on, Nancy. You already been up. There. Come on. Thank you. Thanks, darling. Okay. So, if you're saying one thing and you're doing something else, your heart is divided, right? Mm -hmm. It goes right back around to what we were saying. Opposites exist and take priority where the individual is concerned. Okay, we were talking about good and bad, good and bad. You got to move through it. Opposites, opposites. All right. Mm -hmm. One is left at at the end of the day with very little accomplished, began exhaustedly tired, unable to clear away from the cowwebs, cobwebs, uh -huh. in this thinking pattern created by the games he engaged in during this day. Okay, so he, you have created a bunch of cobwebs in your mind because of all the games that you played throughout the day of what's good, what's bad, what did he think of me, what did she think of me, what did I do wrong, what did I do right, who didn't acknowledge me, who didn't praise me, who didn't, was I right enough, was I wrong enough, all those cobwebs, clean it out, turn the blower on, put the hairdryer up to your ear and blow your brains out until you can get those condescending, self-condescending, self-deprecating thoughts out of your mind. Okay. When one is taken off course, so to speak, spending time doing foolish, needless things, one needs to examine and dissect why he feels the need to avoid that which he is being called to do. Okay. Okay, what you just said, honey, is don't do anything for anybody that is not natural and convenient for you to do. All right? Don't do anything that is not natural means that you can do it and you feel inclined to do it and that it's convenient, you know? That it's not going to interfere with something else you're doing. You want to do it and you can do it. You got that? Got it. Mm -hmm. Work is at hand. Okay. Playtime is not even in the realm of possibilities. Okay, work is at hand. I hear you. One must fuse together the separate parts of his particular personality and come to grips with those things he refuses to 
a knowledge. Let's do that. Read that again. They, Wait a minute. Yeah. Read that sentence again. <laughs> One must fuse together the separate parts of his particular personality and come to grips with those things he refuses to acknowledge based upon his lack of faith, ignorance, and fear. Ignorance and fear. Your heart is divided between <coughs> memories of yesterday and visions of tomorrow. <clears throat> you got to fuse those parts of yourself together. It is important not to be led astray by another, but it is ah, more important that it, thou does not lead thyself astray from creating needless, non-purposeful activities while telling thyself at the same time that these are important things and need to be attended to. Wow. So it says don't be led by another. Don't be led astray by somebody else. But it's more important that you don't fill your own life with a bunch of distractions that you're trying to tell yourself it's important to do. Because guess what? When you get up in the morning, you're going to have a certain amount of hours that you're going to have your eyes open. And all day long, you're constantly decided which is important for you and which is not. And when you're doing one thing, you've got to let go of another, don't you? Okay. Everyone has work to do. Each has a specific task to perform. No one else can do that, that job except thyself. No one can tell you the, what that job is. Okay. I heard you. All right, do you want to go to another book? Sure. All right, which one do next, honey? Put that down. Choose it. You want to choose one of them so we can... Choose one of these? Yeah. You want to choose one of them cards? We took that um, poster pretty back. pretty bag. Huh, thank you. It matched that. I brought that last week, you know, for this. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you know, when I had it up there. So that's why I took the thing away. I should have brought it back this week. All right, what you got? <clears throat> the Spanish ginger 19th century. Okay. Spanish, singer. Singer, Spanish, not ginger. Let me see it. The Spanish singer. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. The Spanish singer. You know what? Bridget drew this one on the last show she was on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So evidently it's a theme that needs to be uh, reemphasized. The time to develop your artistic nature has arrived. You want to draw some? Sure. Okay. Get that paper. This one? Mm hmm. Now, what I want you to do, oh, since it's saying that, let's do that. Well, we're going to do something different this time, honey. Instead of me telling you to do circles and stuff, <coughs> here, 